The show starts off with Romeo and Juliet. That's Daniel. He works at the front desk here at the Millennium Times Square in New York City. I stay here when I go to New York with my girlfriend to see Broadway shows. Daniel was in Broadway shows, but now works here. He checks us in and makes our stay awesome. I thought I'd like to talk to him and ask him, what is it about you? And that's what we're about to do. Please like and subscribe and enjoy my conversation with Daniel. You look tired, man. I am. I'm 60 years old. Wait, what? <laughs> 60 years old? Yeah. I would not have guessed 60. No way. Good. Uh, I bet you get that a lot. I do. <laughs> My mother was the same. Uh, what, have you done this for most of your life, or what have you done? I was a dancer for many years. Yeah, on Broadway? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Uh, what are some shows you've been in? Chorus Line, Cats, Starlight Express. You were in Chorus Line? I'm so into Broadway right now. Well, the show on Broadway was called The Few Good Men, uh, but the Broadway shows that I did were traveling. So, okay. on, a, on a cruise ship, stuff like that. Yeah, still Broadway level shows, though. Yep. Right? Uh, what kind of training did you have to be able to do that? Oh, I grew up as a, I was a dancer and a gymnast. And that's probably why I got uh, so many jobs, because of the gymnastic. Yeah. And the dance. So we just saw Spain a lot, and there's, there's it's hysterical, incredibly physical performances. Yeah, you should go to see uh, Water for Elephants. That's on our list. Major on our list. acrobatics and tra uh, circus trapeze. Yeah. It's amazing. You don't do it anymore? Nope. No. Nope. Uh, at my age, you know, I've, I've had both my hips replaced. My niece is a ballet dancer with American Ballet Theater. She's a principal dancer, actually. So, uh, so are you living vicariously through Sure program? am. That's fantastic. Sure am, yeah. I, I mean, I go to all the shows. I, I, I go to every show on Broadway. What's your favorite show that's playing right now? And Juliet. And Juliet? Yes. I like many of them, but that's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's something for everyone. And it's a good take on an old tale of Romeo and Juliet. It starts off with uh, Shakespeare and his wife, Anne. And Anne decides she's got to the part where Juliet's supposed to kill herself. And she says, Shakespeare, I, I don't get this. Why is this like this? She has her life ahead of her just because he kills himself? No, you gotta change this. So she makes him rewrite it, dropping the sign, Romeo drops. He says, how about that? It's Anne Juliet now. And then the rest of the show goes to on and they use Backstreet Boys and Sync, Katy Perry, all the music reworded to make sense to Romeo and Juliet. It's genius. How, how did you get into doing what you're doing now? Because you seem to really enjoy it as well. I like people. Uh, yeah, once I left dance, I started at a hotel, uh, and I worked there for 23 years. It was up the street a couple blocks away, the Doubletree. And um, as I started losing my hair, I started growing a beard, <laughs> and then um, one, as I, I used to love to wear bow ties, and because the beard got so long, I started putting bow ties in my beard, and that started to grow into like putting stuff in for holidays. I've actually got uh, Instagram for my beard only. No kidding. Uh, is that the name of it? At for it's my beard only? Uncle Danny's dot beard. And it just sort of evolved and, you know, changed into this, I don't know, uh, I'm an entity of myself within the, within the hotel. And I'm lucky that the hotel uh, allows me to dress like I do. Because it's, it's every holiday, it's the holiday tribute. It changes every day. Um, yeah. Was there an issue? Like, did you have to get permission? Or yeah, just... yeah. That, because you know, it's a, it's a uniform thing, um, and it's not very conventional. Uh, even to wear a different color tie is not supposed to. No For real, I mean, I mean technically. Right. And I think you know, the last hotel I had, to st I was made to stop doing it because at one point a, 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 a fellow coworker uh, felt that it was unfair that I got so much attention even though it's good for her as well, so whatever. Are you like on commission sales or anything? No, no, not at all, no. So it's not like you... Everybody does the same amount of work, we all get the same pay, 
no matter how long you've been here, it, it's like everybody is absolutely uh, paid the same. And the, the pay enough to allow you to live in yeah, Manhattan? Yeah, because it's a union hotel. Okay. If it were not a union hotel, it would not be, it, it, it could never live. Because if you go to LA, they only get paid like $14 an hour. Anywhere else other than New York City, and it has to be a union hotel. Yeah, unions are kind of a big deal here. Um, I guess they are, yeah. They, uh, I mean, and there's good and bad in all of that. Sure. <laughs> so, do you, you say you change this every single every day? Every day. Uh, how long does it take? 10 to 15 minutes, because I do it so often. Yeah. I have, uh, I, ha I could go every day with a different look if I wanted to. 365 days a year, yep. you, could be, you could have a different view. I have boxes this big at home on shelves, and I just take and replace, and constantly buying stuff and changing it out and mixing and matching. And yeah. It's just a creative outlet, and it puts a smile on people's faces. The whole reason behind it was to break down that uh, the level of potential uh, drama at a check-in if we don't have a room tight or whatever. It's kind of hard to get mad at a guy who's got all this in his face. Do you find yourself having to tell people, hey, my eyes are up here? I have a shirt that says that, actually, <laughs> with a beard, and it has a beard, and it says, excuse me, miss, my eyes are up here. <laughs> I have it. Has anybody <laughs> reacted negatively to it at all? Not yet. No? <laughs> no, no, not yet. I, you, generally, the negative reaction would be the non-reaction. Yeah. Doing their best to avoid you know, the elephant in the room. Uh, can, you, um, can you see him coming? Oh, yes. It's usually the business traveler who, who just, it wouldn't matter if it was me or, you know, some other person that, you know, has a different extremity. Uh, they just, many business travelers just want uh, to come to you, give you the credit card, check in, get their keys and be on with their way. And that's fine. You know, you, you read people. Yeah, yeah, and you got to know when to back off and when to just let them. Uh, what they want most is you just to get them, get the transaction done and get yeah. them on their way. Right? Yeah, with as little questions as possible. And that means more to them than you being. It does. Over the top. Or you have to read. Yeah. yeah. Other people, that's the travelers, the families that uh, they appreciate my little show. <laughs> um, what do you do when you're not working? I go to Broadway shows. That's the. That's the Every day off, I try to go to a Broadway show. So you see shows multiple times? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen Wicked nine times. What's the secret to getting cheap tickets? Uh, uh, there are multiple ways. But uh, the, every sh most shows, if you go online, have a digital lottery now. And they're not all of the same lottery. And you have to know which lottery gets announced because you have an hour to... Uh, respond in buying the tickets if you won if you don't respond within an hour you lose the tickets also TKTS uh, here in Times Square it, I frequently use that as well it's 30 to 50 percent off the ticket yeah. which is a pretty good deal depending on rush tickets is that the way? it's too early I work till midnight so yeah, yeah you gotta be there at like 9 in the morning yes yes no I don't ever do that my roommate does though He's, he's an early bird, so I let him do that. But most of the time, it's lottery or TKTS. My uh, YouTube channel is called What Is It About You? Oh, good. Uh, yeah, and uh, I have found that simply asking people, hey, what is it about you? They have no idea what to say. <laughs> I was hoping that that question would elicit some just generous responses, but uh, oh. if I asked you that question, what would you say? What is it about you? Dude? I'm not afraid to be me. And uh, about me, it's, it's about engaging. It's about learning, it's about meeting people, it's about uh, not being afraid to ask a question, not being afraid to, you know, to offer some advice. That's, I'd say that's what it is about me. And I'm a little creative. Awesome, Daniel, thank you so much for talking to me. You're very welcome. You're out of here for the night, right? I am. Go get some sleep, go see a show. Have Appreciate a great it. night. You too, man. Yeah.